happy Halloween! I am supposed to be Mal from Disney Descendants, um, and I'm supposed to have my hair sprayed purple, but it is pouring rain because Canada, so I'm really worried that the purple hairspray will fall right out of my hair if I do it, um, so we're holding off on that for now. I do have this really sick purple studded leather jacket, though, that I got from the Disney store, and it was definitely overpriced, and it's also made for 11 to 12 year olds, so, uh, you know, this is where my life decisions have led me. And also, I really don't know how to manage my money. Speaking of not knowing how to manage my money, though, I went and bought the John Green Minis box set. Penguin came out with these tiny versions of John Green books, and although I already own the special editions of Looking for Alaska and The Fault in Our Stars, I, I bought this. So this has um, Looking for Alaska and Abundance of Catherine's Paper Towns and the Fault in Our Stars in this set. Um, and like I said, I already own half the books, so this was a bad purchasing decision, but I don't know how to manage my money. I should not be allowed to ma have a job and make an income. Um, but I thought I'd go through like pros, cons of this. So first pro, I think, is that these are cheaper than the books. Than, than like the normal big size books. Uh, granted, like I said, I already own half of these, so that didn't matter to me really that much. But I think these are like $16 each. Um, and hang on. So I have Turtles All the Way Down over here, which is the only solo John Green book that's not in the set. Um, this was $26 Canadian versus like $16 each for these. So that's $10 difference. So if you do want a physical book, um, these are cheaper. And the other thing for these, most definitely, is that they're smaller. When I was coming to university, Turtles All the Way Down is the only book I brought because I was really worried about space and packing. Um, and these would be great if you want to bring a small book somewhere. Especially like vacation and stuff. I know I always wanted to bring books on vacation, but they're always really heavy and they're always take up, taking up a lot of space. So these would be great. Especially if you don't want, like, I know I should move to ebook, but there's nothing quite like holding an actual book. So especially if you want an actual book and not to read an ebook, these are great. So I was really worried these would be super chunky because of how small they are, but apparently Penguin has really thin paper because these are much thinner than the actual books, and uh, they're very little. So actually, let me see. I think maybe these all fit on one book cover. Um, do they? Okay, they don't. They're a bit bigger. So all four books is slightly larger than one normal book cover, if you can see it peeking out, but they are all much thinner. So the size is definitely like the main attraction about these. These fit in my hoodie pockets, which I found out when I went to class. This came in yesterday and I already finished reading An Abundance of Catherine's, so it's midterm week and this is how I'm deciding to spend my time. This was also my summer TBR and I didn't read it over the summer. Whoops. If you're a guy, these will probably fit in your pants pockets, but I don't know that because they don't fit in my pants pockets because life sucks. Something else that I think is great about these is that all the covers have like the main thing of the actual proper book covers. So like The Fault in Our Stars has the clouds, of course, and Paper Towns has the map and pin. If my camera wants to work. But yeah, Paper Towns has the map and pin. Looking for Alaska has the smoke. And then Under Buns of Catherine's has all the little symbols on it. So I think it's great that if my camera wants to work with me. So I think that's really great and cute and awesome. But the other thing that's awesome is that the back cover has a description of the book. So the back cover has like a description and they have a little review here, but most of it is the description, which Finally, please, someone, bring back descriptions on the back of books. I don't care who said what about it. Just give me the description of the freaking book. Um, I'm fine. Something else is that because the pages are so small, all the footnotes are really close by. So, um, An Abundance of Catherine's has a ton of footnotes, and I'm the kind of person who gets distracted when I go looking for footnotes, So, which is strange, but... You know what? We're gonna go with it. Um, but these are really close by. So, like, you're reading pages and pages and pages, and there's footnote right there. So, it's great. Another thing that's great about these is, you know when you have a small book or, like, notebook or something, and you don't want to damage the spine by bending it back, but it won't stay open? Um, these, 
the cover is a nice cardboard, but it's not like attached to the actual book. So the book is bound by cloth here, and the cover is still here, but it's not connected here. So you can lay it flat and not damage the spine, which is great. So that's one of my favorite things about these, is that you can lay them flat. Cons, this is really just a gimmick to make you spend more money, and it worked on me, so, you know. But this is really just a spend your money, you will get an entire book just in miniature form. The other thing is that the pages are really thin, so whenever I'm reading, I'm actually really scared I'm going to rip a page, but it's also super easy to just flip two, three pages and be super confused as to what is happening. Lastly, this is not a super big deal, but the books don't read like this, like a normal book. They read up and down, which my friend has told me looks super strange, because I was reading in a bunch of Catherine's while walking to class with him the other day, but it wasn't a huge deal to me, but that is something that you should be aware of is that they open up and down. Basically, these are cheaper, smaller versions of the actual books, and I think they're adorable and they're great, but they're definitely trying to make you waste your money. So if you don't own the books, this would probably be awesome. If you're like me and you want to waste money, this would be awesome. But if you already own all the books, this is not really something you'd really want. Unless you always want the books to be with you, which sure, but also you could buy an ebook, which I'm also not doing with my life. Um, but that is my review on the John Green mini set. Happy Halloween, and I will see you sometime. Goodbye.